Good morning. We're gonna walk out here in the rain. Cause it's just that kind of morning, isn't it? So Derek Hatchley here, chiropractor. One of the head trainers at or at MM MKMMA. Yeesh, my brain this morning. Um, beautiful morning here in Albuquerque. Let's spin this. Sorry if I'm making you a little dizzy there. Spin that so you can see the great sunrise. So this morning we're going to talk about movement. I'm going to start trying to make it a, a habit that once a week we talk some kind of movement. And so a lot of times what I see in my practice is people complaining of back pain, hip pain, things like that. <clears throat> and one of the best things you can do is back squats and deadlifts. Now that's very probably um, different than what you've heard in the past because everybody says stay away from back squats and deadlifts. But it really is one of the best things you can do for stabilizing your low back and your hips. And the reason is, and, and I'm not talking about leg press, I'm not talking about um, doing back squats on a machine or on where the Smith machine or things like that. I'm talking about um, back squat, free bar, back squats and deadlifts. And you've got to make sure your form is right. You know, as you do in a back squat, you should be sitting down. Your knees shouldn't travel in front of your feet. Your butt should go backward first, and then you should almost sit down like you're sitting in a chair. Your deadlifts are about the same. Um, I'm not a big proponent of, of like straight back deadlifts. I think it puts a lot of torque on the low back. Um, lightweight, it's, it's okay, but I wouldn't do heavyweight that way. So here's the reason why is doing free weight motion of any motion really engages all kinds of stabilizing muscles. Right? Rarely do we have a problem with major muscle groups, the quadratus lumborum in the low back, the abs, the chest, things like that. Those are major movers. Those aren't our problems. What we need to work on are stabilizers, core stabilizers. And core stabilizers are those deep muscles, the muscles that go from spinous to spinous, from pelvic floor to the, to the vertebrae, things like that, those kinds of muscles. And the reason why is because as you engage in a motion, those muscles fire milliseconds ahead of the major muscle groups. And if those have been injured or delayed or slow or, or untrained, what happens is they don't fire the way they should and you get more of a spaghetti noodle type motion than an I-beam type motion. And you set yourself up for injury. <clears throat> so at any age, you should be doing back squats and deadlifts. And the second reason is, is because those are daily movements. You know, you go to the grocery store, you go to Costco, whatever, and you bend down, and you pick up a bag of dog food. You pick up a case of water. You do things like that every day. You bend down, you go on, on vacation. You bend down and you pick up your suitcase, right? And people wonder why they do those things and they hurt and they can't get up. It's because you don't ever do those things. So the other really good thing you can do for your low back and your pelvic floor is get one of those big exercise balls and sit on that 20 to 30 minutes a day. Just sit on it. You don't have to do anything. Your legs don't need to touch, but they need to be about shoulder width apart. What's going to happen is you're going to move and twist and, and do little micro movements on that. Again, activating the deep core stabilizers, stabilizing the low back and the pelvis. <clears throat> and all these things we talk about, and we've been talking about for a month and a half or whatever, a functioning body, a healthy body, a body that can move in all planes of motion is key to success, is key to activating your brain, is key to having a good positive mental attitude going into the world, is key to being able to focus, is key to being able to hustle, is key to be able to do all these things, is a healthy body. I see it every day in my practice, people come in who are not healthy. Their thought patterns, the way they talk, the way they think, their cognitive function, you can tell is diminished. You can tell in their way they move their body, the way they get up and off the table, the way they get up and down out of the chair, the way, just everything. So you have to take care of your body. This is your center of power. Without your body being healthy and strong and fit and tuned, you can't go do anything else in the world because it just doesn't work. It just can't function. So again, I'm gonna encourage you to move your body Start doing deadlifts, back squats, sit on the exercise ball, make sure your form's good, don't just go out and do them. 
The other, th other thing I'm gonna encourage you to do is check out the link that I've attached to this. It's a bit.ly link for Get MK MMA. We're gonna open up the cart soon. We're gonna, it's a dollar. Really, it's a dollar, that's it, to get into this course. But it's a scholarship course and it fills up fast. So you've got a limited time once we open the doors to it. It's gonna fill up, like I said, fast. So click on the link, watch the two videos. Video three comes out, I think, tomorrow, Thursday. So watch those, learn more. If it interests you, take action. Like I said, it's a dollar. Come on. So you guys go move, take care of yourselves, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Love, light, peace, and uh, have a fantastic Tuesday, okay?